Dear Heavenly Father, thank you very much again for today. I love that I've been able to keep on track so far on daily readings, or in this case, nightly readings for the people to hopefully listen to throughout the day next on their next day. I just love you, and I appreciate you, and I pray, and I earnestly and honestly pray to you, Lord, that you are always looking out for me, Lord, and I appreciate that, Lord, and 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 I'm learning how to be better and I'm learning how to focus on what I need to do so that way things that I need to learn learn for my business is going to be easy uh, because I know it's in your name and in your glory that I do it Lord Um, because I'm a giver Lord I, I, I don't definitely I just I just need comfort and and a well balanced life for when I get older, Lord. And I think earning this kind of money that I'm uh, that I know that will happen uh, will just happen. And I appreciate that. And I thank you, Lord. And and uh, bless me while I sleep tonight, and allow me to get up early in the morning and and be full of vigor and want to be up and excited for the day to listen to the morning meeting and be blessed by them, by the people who are teaching me all sorts of tools, tricks, and and just being motivators, Lord. I appreciate them and I appreciate you through them, Lord. And as always, Lord, I know that anyone who's listening, if they would like to learn how to pray and or just want to know something about prayer all they have to do is bow their head down and sit and pray pray to you shortly and or 15 minutes worth lord it's not a it's not about the length it's about the passion and it's about the the pouring out the heart for you lord and whatever their heart comes for you lord that give them the peace and the knowledge that you're that you're answering their prayers in whatever way you can or in or in any well in any way that you see fit actually and with that i say thank you again in your precious name amen well everyone my name is mr positive at least that's what i go by on you, this youtube we are currently of course reading a book, and then the Bible as a reference after, or uh, encouragement words after. Uh, the book is called New Morning Mercies. The author is Paul David Tripp, a daily gospel devotional. So basically, you read a page, you read what is written for the day that the author wrote, and then you read encouragement notes after so i think that's exciting and it's working and it's been wonderful and it, it's been fun for the 20 people that uh listen and the few that leave comments so i love that and i think that's great um if you found this channel by a cir- uh, circumstance and it's not for you uh but you know someone who might enjoy it pass it on to them maybe they so that way they have the option to sub and um and to put the notification bell on. And if it is something that you fell upon that you do like, uh, do me a favor, hit that sub button and the notification bell. If you don't want the notification bell, at least sub. That way it won't go to your email. And uh, you can be a part of growing my channel. So that way I can get YouTube to broaden my uh, audience. So that's exciting and that's what I hope will happen. But in the meantime, we are in a new month. It is July 1st. So let's get through it, shall we? July 1st. Does discouragement preach to you a false gospel that causes you to forget that your future has already been written into the pages of God's book? It is discouraging to face your struggle with sin, the disloyalty of a friend, the rebellion of your children, the soaring of your marriage, the souring of your marriage, the division of your church, the temptations that seem to be all around you, the injustice that lives in the, this fallen world, 
the pain and worry of physical sickness, the loss of your job, the hardship of old age, or the death of your dreams. Yes, it's hard to face all of these things. It's easy to lose your way. It's tempt, uh, tempting to wonder what God is really doing, if he cares. And if he hears your prayers, it's a hard it's hard to hold on to his promises. It's hard to stay committed to good spiritual habits. It's hard not to give into discouragement and give way to the desire to quit. But in the face of discouragement, there is one thing that you need to remember. It is captured in just a, uh, just a few powerful words from Psalms 139. Your eyes saw my unformed substance in your book were written every one of them the days that were formed for me when as yet there were none of them verse 16 it is a it is vital to remember when trouble comes your way and discouragement begins to grip your heart that every single day of your life was written into God's book before you lived lived the very first uh, first of them None of those days has, and none of those things that you have faced or will face is in those days are a surprise in your Lord. He carefully authored the uh, content of every one of those days with his own hand. He controlled every twist and every turn of the plot that is your story. He introduced all the characters and determined all of the locations nothing will happen to you that he has not written into his book and he has already determined how your story will end you see what discourages you doesn't dis does, doesn't surprise him because he authored it all with a glorious combination of wisdom and grace nothing is out of the nothing is out of his control your Savior is sovereign. He knows what, will, what is best and will do what is best. This is where rest and courage are to be found when discouragement shakes the resolve of your heart. For further study and encouragement, Psalm 135. All right, so let's go there. Psalm 135. Where are we? Okay. To God in creation and redemption. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, O you servants of the Lord. You who stand in the house of the Lord. In the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord for the Lord is good. Sing praises to His name for it is pleasant. For the Lord is chosen Jacob for Himself. Israel for His for his special treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does in heaven uh, and in earth, uh, in the seas and in all deep places. He causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning f for the rain he brings the wind out of his uh, treasuries. He destroys the fishborn of Egypt, both of man and beast. He sent signs and wonders into the midst of you, O Egypt. Upon Pharaoh and all of his servants, he defeated many nations and slew many kings. Uh, Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan, and gave their land as a heritage, a heritage to Israel, his people. You name, O Lord, endures forever. Your fame, O Lord, throughout all generations, for the Lord will judge his people, and he will have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of men's hands, they have mouths, but they do not speak, eyes that have, but they do not see, they have ears, but they do not hear, nor is there any breath in their mouths. 
those or the, those who make them are like them so is everyone who trusts in them blessed the lord o house of israel blessed the uh, lord o house of aaron blessed the lord o house of levi you who fear the lord bless the lord bless the lord out of zion who dwells in jerusalem praise the lord and that ends today's uh, reading and Bible reading. Reading out of Paul David Tripp's message and the uh, reading of Bible of uh, Psalms 1, 135, I think I said. Uh, thank you for following along. And I certainly hope that you guys have had a wonderful, blessed day. And like I said, if you found this and you're listening this far, it might mean that you enjoyed what you were listening to, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you really want into it, hit the subscribe button and the notification and the notification bell. And uh, and as always, God is giving me the overwhelming glory and grace and blessing to be able to love each and every single one of you, regardless of what you're going through, regardless of your sin. I'm here to love the person behind the sin of no matter what uh, no matter who you are so with that said thank you very much for stopping by and have a wonderful day bye now